Canadian publication Money Sense magazine recently named St. Albert Canada's best city to reside in, number one in a poll that includes 201 communities. Mayor Nolan Kraus says it's because of many factors. Depending on how you shake the rankings, we were the number one smallest city, but now the number one city. But, but I think it's I think it's important to put it all in context. Uh, you're, while you're proud to live in your community, you also know that you've got things you can always improve on. First, the good stuff, like five times the national average of parkland. The park space is everything from River Valley to, to a lot of dedicated green space over the years, a railway coming through the city which has a lot of green space on either side of it, as well as a, a uh, decades of really planning that way. So, so the first thing you hear is about the green space. The second thing you hear is about the beauty of, of St. Albert. The city of St. Albert, I think, is, is very well designed. Uh, from the roads to the parks to the trails, uh, the city's construction it's, itself uh, is very pretty, it's very beautiful. But it really is uh, decades and decades of building it through volunteerism, through a good business uh, base, through, through great school system, um, uh, good government. Uh, there's really a combination of many things that get you to where you are. Part of it is controlled growth and expansion. The city of St. Albert uh, annexed lands from Sturgeon County back in 2007 and so we're in the process of uh, working with developers on uh, planning those lands uh, right now and there is the possibility of an upwards of 30,000 people moving to St. Albert over the next 20 years. We're at about uh, 62,000 and uh, we're historically, if you look back at St. Albert, it's almost linear at about 1,000 people per year, declining percentage. We don't have any uh, industry or any particular uh, cause for a boom and we don't anticipate that. That means around 300 new housing starts per year and a slightly more affluent population than many. Our average incomes are higher than uh, many communities, not only in Alberta, but across uh, Canada. Uh, our education levels are, are very high. Uh, we have many who have graduated uh, university and, and college uh, who live here and, and work here. Public safety is another appealing aspect. It's generally not uh, not really high in criminal activity. And also, the, that's another ranking that uh, that is done by Stats Canada as, as well as uh, magazines. And we've also been ranked uh, the safest uh, city in Canada, Western Canada. So those, those all play into it. Parks and recreation facilities, arts and culture, safety, personal income, future plans to promote local jobs and economic development. So what might be the downside to Canada's number one city to live in? because of the lifestyle. When I say lifestyle, I mean we've got uh, the boulevards, the trees, and all of the amenities that, uh, that, we, that we could imagine for a city of our size. And with that, it comes a cost. And I think that's one thing we, we hear. I think we are, uh, we're also hearing, and, uh, and, and we hear it more and more each year, uh, the, the need to preserve our environment. As we grow in a community, uh, people don't want to see rapid silly growth uh, because with that comes its own you have your own infrastructure challenges whether it be uh, fire police uh, recreation facilities etc so moderate growth is what we hear more often st albert alberta's oldest community at 153 years also canada's top city to live in as chosen by money sense for go edmondson tim dancy reporting